Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 25 of Hazecraft. I'm uh, hanging my head in shame because I have a confession to make. I have been... Oops. AFK fishing. In this little box right down here. I don't know why I built it down here. Ah, uh, for those of you wondering, this is all you need for a uh, AFK fish farm in 113. But I've been AFK fishing, and I promise you guys, it's only for the fish. So just trying to gather up as much the Nautilus shells. I'll definitely keep those. The bones, the dirt, everything, bows, everything. Uh, and probably all the books I'm just going to get rid of. Because, and I mean, as you can see, I didn't do too much fishing. going to get rid of, because... I only started fishing for the fish, and that is partially due to the fact that if we get up here, I think this is where I left my inventory. Oh, look at that. We just ender pearled through the door. Weird. We only have one firework rocket left, and I would like to fix that. I'd like to fix that, and the way we're going to fix that is by creating a mob farm, and one that specializes in creepers only, because, I mean, at the moment we don't really have a need for any other mob farms, so, the, I, I, I have a good design in mind, and I think you guys are going to like it, but for it, we need cats, and, uh, Let's see, I have not tamed an animal, I haven't bred an, oh, maybe I have, yeah, I have tamed an animal. What animal did I tame? Weird, I don't even remember. Did I, like, have a dog at one point? I don't know. But we are going to load up with fish. From there, and sail, because we don't have rockets to fly, sail off in that direction, I think is the way to the jungle, or maybe it's sort of off that way, and see if we can find an ocelot or two, and, well, hopefully two, so that we can breed them together and get a cat army. Um, for this, we will want a sword, some blocks, we can throw our fishing rod back in, well, it should go in our light blue shulker box. This is where our valuable tools go, and dragon eggs. Good thing we have lots of dragon eggs. So, that rocket isn't going to be used to us. We do have some ender pearls. I do need another ender chest, or two. Uh, like so, like so, I am also going to need a bunch more obsidian, um, like a couple stacks worth of obsidian for this project, so, we'll see, I'll catch up with you guys in the jungle over there. Ocelots are pretty hard to find, but I did f manage to find another, um, whatchamacallit, pirate ship. That's why I made the R. Ooh, lots of gunpowder. Good, I like that. Leather boots, carrots, not too concerned. Actually, we might take the carrots. Um, as you can see, we found a couple melons, which is always good. What I was hoping for in here, where's this chest? Yeah, no diamonds, but, uh, Couple emeralds, couple iron. So what I was hoping for is an iron to make flint and steel so that I can just start burning down the jungle. As bad as that seems, I believe if I do that, uh, there should be more spawning spaces for ocelots. And then I should hopefully get more spawns. We shall see. Ooh, there should also be a chest down here. 
In this room? Yeah. There we go. Buried treasure map. Let's see. Oh, it's actually pretty close to me. Back over to the jungle we go. Alright, looks like it's in this sand bank. Also, that, oh no, that's a river that it's showing over there. Ah, I was uh, wondering if it was showing a mine shaft. Alright, whereabouts are we? Somewhere over in this area. Hey, there we go. Just like that. Oh, be nice. Let's continue burning things. Oh, not myself. Not burn myself, but burn the rest of the jungle down. This could get very laggy, so I'm going to let you guys go so that uh, all my computer resources can be focused on rendering a flaming inferno. All right, we have managed to get ourselves one cat so far. Trapped it in a hole here, the jungle's just over there. We are going to try to get you back to our base. I'm sure the jungle's still on fire. Uh, well, I guess let's start. Ah, oh, would you look at that glorious sight. We are coming up on home. So. Get you. Up to our base and then back to the jungle. Alright. Just found a bunch. I don't even know why I'm whispering. I'm whispering like they can hear it. Found a bunch of ocelots. Including some kittens. Little kitten, parent over there, or grown one. Alright, so I don't know if this is a 113 bug or if this existed before, but you can see my fish is just counting down. I can just hold down, right click, and it'll just count down. But if we back off, give this guy a little time to reset to the point where he'll turn to hearts, you will see that all my fish gets returned to my hand. So it's almost like he's storing the fish. But yeah, these guys take a while to tame. And I don't know what happened to the other ocelots, but we've got one and all we need. Yeah, tame this guy. Get him back to our base. Well, don't those two look like proud parents? We have our cats back. We already have a baby cat. Let's sleep in this bed. Uh, <laughs> because we have made and destroyed our bed many times. Yeah, that black bed there. I think I also left a bed. Yeah, in my ender chest. Good thing to carry in there. But, we now have the start to our cat army. So, I've started building our very effective mob farm. I had to put torches here because mobs kept spawning. But, I've started building the mob farm. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to try to guess what this is going to be in the end. I'm very excited for this design. You can see it's symmetrical. There's your hint. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks you guys for watching our jungle exploration episode. Here's an aerial view of our nether portal island. Looking pretty nice from up here. Uh, thanks for watching our nether portal island. I'm breeding up some cats because we're gonna need cats for all these chests here to scare the creepers. You guys, uh, know how that works, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate all of that. I will see you guys in the next episode.